There are only weeks to go until the big day, until December 25th. And what is Christmas without a Christmas tree? With that in mind, I've come to Harkins Garden Centre to a man who is in the know. You're very welcome. There's not much you don't know about uh, Christmas trees. Well, this is the time of year. This is the time of year. They're beautiful, aren't they? They're really good quality this year. Really gorgeous. And we have a lovely selection here for people in maybe in apartments, for people in houses, for people yeah. with children. So let's get started. This one, for yeah, example. These, these are the potted trees. So this is actually okay. a living tree. It's potted up, it's rooted, it's growing away in the pot. And this will make a perfect indoor Christmas tree, say, in an apartment, on a balcony. You can put it out of doors in a large pot if you want. It keeps that beautiful conical shape and retains the foliage 12 months of the year. So it's actually a living tree. So the idea would be that you'd have this, let's say, if you were in a small apartment or you want it in your porch or something, and then you take it outside and you plant it you for can the rest plant of the year. It, you can plant it in the garden, you can plant it in a large pot and continue to grow it on. It's very, very slow growing. It'll form a perfect conical shape, perfect Christmas tree shape. You can have it year after year, say out in a porch or a patio, on a balcony, bring it into the apartment for the, for the Christmas period if you want and put it back out. You've also got it in this variety, slightly larger. This is a Korean fir, very dark Korean foliage. Fir. Korean fir. Again, From where? Where was this? Well, it's, it, this is actually grown. Irish grown. It's Irish grown, uh, but it's actually rooted in a pot. And again, you can move it into a larger tub or you can plant it out of doors as well. Very soft, very easy to decorate, per makes perfect layers. So it's very easy to, to dress the lights on it and baubles on it. Super tree. So if you want something different, rather than cutting a tree, you can actually get a living Christmas tree. A living Christmas tree. Now, the one thing about Christmas trees and why people tend sometimes to go for the artificial ones is because they shed, but... But these are non-shed Christmas mm. trees. So this I actually think is really, as trees go, this is a beauty. Beauty, beautiful quality. It's so easy to decorate. Again, Irish grown, produces these perfect layers. So very easy to decorate, very easy to hang the baubles off. Very soft pines as well. Um, and again, it has that beautiful conical shape. So that's the Norman fir, and look for that. What height year. is that? That's roughly about six and a half to seven feet high. Typically for most houses, seven to eight foot is the most popular tree. Obviously for smaller houses, we do them up to six, seven, eight foot in height, whatever height you want. And what would you put that into, one of these? That's very important. These are a great idea. idea. Yeah, and, and particularly this year, because we've had such a mild winter, Christmas trees are continuing to grow. So we've got to treat them very carefully this year. You need to wash them. You need to treat them like cut flowers. So you cut off the bottom of the stem, you put them into a, a large um, holder, depending on the size of the tree. You can see this one here. You can put water into the actual and holder. And would you put water into it? Yes, yes you would. Yep. Yeah, you put about a pint of water. Once the tree is in the stand, put a pint of water in. And keep an eye on that. Every three to four days, you want to top that up. And do but you need the, to put feed into it or anything? Well, you can put a small bit of plant food if you want, like, like cut flowers. But Water is the critical thing because they use copious amounts of water indoors in the warm conditions. These are a great stand, the Elho stand. You don't need to pair the bottom of the tree. You simply just unscrew, slot your tree in, re-screw in, and it actually fits in tightly around the base of the stem. So you can use this every year? Every year, Kira. They're reusable, but the important thing about the stand is it'll hold water, and that's that's crucial for the tree. But they're a really si simple stand to use. They're very sturdy, and they'll take a tree from six feet right up to eight or nine feet in height. So they're perfect. Now, the other thing you have here, Park, and I like this idea this because, idea. let's face it, in most houses with children, they might allow the children to decorate it, maybe, but then they probably just take all the decorations off and then do it themselves later that night. Yes, they that's do. That's what used to happen so this, in our house. This is a special tree that's been, it's called the kiddies tree and it's grown for children. And it's a lovely tree up to about four feet in height. It'll suit a children's room. It'll suit an apartment or a small um, flat, say. Or if you had a playroom or something. Playroom, it'll be perfect for that. But it's ideal for children to mess about, hang some candy on, hang some toys on. The perfect tree for Santi to put the presents in around. And nice and sturdy. If you two Very or three sturdy. kids working around that. Yeah, it fits in the same stand as the Elho stand and also it's non-shed, so it won't shed its foliage at all. So it keeps that lovely colour right through the festive period. So that's the call, the kiddies tree. A lovely uh, size tree for children's uh, playroom or a, or a small apartment. Perfect. Uh, Park, when should we put them up and when do we have to take them down? This really is the time. Uh, as we come into early December now, is the perfect time to put up the tree. Because they're non-shed, they're going to hold the foliage well into January. An important thing is 
recycling and if people look at their local councils many of the councils around the country are taking back the trees after Christmas so if you do need to get rid of your tree in early January contact your local county council and they'll take it back and shred it up and reuse it as bark. Okay. So no artificial trees this year? No artificial trees, you by can't Irish, be the real tree, yeah, these are all Irish grown and um, all Irish produced so they're really really good quality. Well I'm sold, thanks Paul. Thanks a million.